Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading focused on the Chinese zodiac animal of the rabbit. And if you're not sure which Chinese zodiac animal you are, I will provide a link for you to enter your info so you can find out exactly what it is. This is a general reading as always, guys. It won't resonate with every single person, so please do take on this. As always, what makes sense for you, release the rest. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box, and I will include a link to all of the decks and creators that you see here today. All right, so we're focusing on the rabbit here, and I'm not so much focused on the Chinese New Year, more so what's coming in in 2021 for the Chinese zodiac animal that you're watching here today. So... Hopefully you've already checked that out and you know that you're a rabbit. Okay, so let's go ahead and start here, guys. These are the two decks. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are the two decks that we will be using for the focus messages. The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed And this is the Energy Oracle Cards deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. And I'm using all of the same cards for all of the Chinese Zodiac animals. Okay, just in case you were wondering. So let's begin and see what is coming in for you guys this year for the rabbits. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the rabbit. What are the messages? <clears throat> okay, let's grab this one here. This deck still sticks on me. We've got the spider spirit. Make your dreams real. That's such a great card. This is the year for the rabbit to manifest those dreams, okay? And also the number 56 might mean something to somebody. That, of course, adds up to an 11. 11s are, for me, a very magical number. It's a make-a-wish number, manifestation. So if you want to look up the meanings of the numbers, I definitely encourage you to do that. There's lots of sites online that you could look it up and see what they mean. So let's go ahead and add to this for the rabbit from the energy oracle card stack all right what's your second message here grabbing this one. Oh my gosh that's fantastic look at this blossoming abundance so not only do you have the capability of making your dreams happen in 2021 but you've got some amazing energies of abundance coming in this can be money matters, of course, for those of you who might be looking for a change in your career. You know, you'll be blessed with abundance in that area. Abundance can be good health, certainly blessings in your love connections, your family. That's a great card because it applies to so many areas of your life. Okay, so let's continue and add to that for the rabbit. We're going to use the Spiritual Journey to Ascension deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Two really nice cards to th start things off for you. Okay, so let's see what else you need to be made aware of this year for the rabbit. And I know a lot of you guys reached out asking for this reading. And finally, we're here. So for those of you who are rabbits and have been waiting for this, I apologize for the wait. I've just been super busy with personal private readings on top of posting content on my channel and my TikTok page. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my TikTok page, that info as well as down below, and I post mini readings on there. I try to do it daily, but you know, there's a lot of mini readings that I do post on there. All right, guys, let's see. Embrace your uniqueness, absolutely. You know, everybody's different and there's something very unique about you personally. And only you can bring whatever it is that you're bringing to the table in your love life, in your personal life, however way that is coming through. We have cycles that are reflected here as well. There could be certain cycles in your life that are coming to an end, and there are certain cycles that are beginning. Okay, so let's take a look and see what else. What else for the rabbit? Look at that breaking free. Okay, right next to cycles, allow whatever cycles need to end, whatever it is that you need to break free from, you'll know which cycles of your life are no longer a part of your future, are no longer a part of what it is that you're wanting to manifest in your future. Okay, 
So break free from people, from toxic connections, from situations that are no longer serving a purpose. Let's see what else. What else for the rabbit? This one is a very popular message coming through for a lot of the Chinese Zodiac animals that I've done recently. And it says, Shh, sometimes keeping silent is the best answer. And it's true, you know, if there's nothing left to add to the conversation, if you've exhausted all possibilities, if you've talked about anything and everything, you got everything off your chest, maybe at that point it's just time to take action for whatever feels right for you. And again, we've got these cycles, again, that either need to come to an end or welcoming in a new cycle. If there's nothing left to say, silence is the best answer, as it says. And I'm also feeling for some of you, because we do have make your dreams real. And if there's a particular dream that you've been wanting to pursue, maybe there are people in your life that are trying to tell you otherwise. It's like, eh, you should go in a different way. Or no, you should do this. Or whatever two cents they're wanting to put in to direct your life in a particular direction. And maybe you've tried to stand your ground and tell them, it's like, look, this is what I want. And nobody's listening, maybe. Or you're just getting really bad advice or too much advice from too many people and it comes to the point where maybe sometimes you just can't argue with all these people and just pretty much do what feels right for you you know there's nothing left to say just do you we do have a karmic connection here so there might be somebody for some of you guys you're dealing with this person maybe you know that that's the end of a cycle when it comes to this connection maybe you're struggling to let go you're struggling to break free but make this the year that you actually take some sort of action to do those things so that you can manifest whatever these goals and dreams are in your life maybe that's been a hindrance for you look at this you you're being directed to go in a new direction we also have a yellow feather here which signifies friendship and happiness your friends that are very close to you, they are a part of your life, your heart, your circle, your world. They make you happy. They bring you happiness. And I'm also feeling for some of my rabbits here, this is the year to make new friends because you have decided to go in a new direction. Your life is going in a very different way from how 2020 might have been. And you're meeting new people and it's bringing you happiness. And part of this new direction and the new connections that you make could help bring you this blossoming abundance because abundance can also come in the form of friends and the people that are in your life that make you happy. And maybe this is the year that you are working on solidifying this foundation in your life, whether that's for your love life or your career or your health, your relationships with your friends, your family, whatever it is. This is the year to create change the year to break free from things that you know no longer need to be a part of your life and that includes toxic situations and connections and even friendships okay it doesn't have to be romantic in nature and this is you working on building something really special and solid for yourself moving forward in your life so that's really good for the rabbits Let's go ahead and add to this with the Illumination deck. This is by Lightworker Tarot and Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for the Chinese Zodiac, the Rabbit. What else do we need to know here? Okay. Ooh, you've got a life partner here. Maybe you have made this connection already. Or this is new love that's coming in this year where you make that love connection and it turns out that this is somebody that you really see yourself building a life with long-term commitment there's a reason why this is coming through you see how that says karma so there are karmic cycles perhaps karmic endings when it comes to a karmic connection that you know you need to break free from maybe you've already done this or this is something that you need to work on this year Look at that unhealthy patterns, you see, and how the, the cards are lining up in this way. Break free from these unhealthy patterns because it's not going to serve a purpose in your life. It's not going to help you create progress 
in your life this year. Okay, so this is the year to do this. Healing your heart. Yes, this is the year for healing as well. I have a feeling you've been through something painful with someone. And it doesn't have to be a romantic breakup, okay? I feel for some of you, there are people in your life that you know are toxic to you. These could be friends or people who pretend to be your friend and they actually end up not being good for you and they hurt you. Okay, so whatever healing your heart needs to do this year, take action towards that. Look at that. The universe has a plan for the rabbits. I love these cards that are coming in for the rabbits. And then we've got growth and expansion. You see that? So you really are truly meant to move forward. You're meant to grow. You're meant to learn. You are meant to welcome in whatever this blossoming abundance is. You are meant to make your dreams come true this year. And the only way to make that happen is to go in a different direction. Because the way that you were going in 2020 may not have been the best for you, which is why you're being asked to break free from it. Some of you guys might also decide to go on a, on a vacation. Maybe this is something that you're planning with some friends of yours. It is falling right below this yellow feather of friendship and happiness. Or while you're on a vacation, you make new friends. That's a possibility here. For those of you that resonate with this, maybe you live close to the beach or the ocean as well. Let's grab one more card. One more card for the rabbit. And then we have loyalty. Okay, this is what you're looking for in your relationships. And it's it's quite fitting for me how that loyalty card is right next to the foundation card because I feel that certainly is a contributing factor to solidifying a foundation in your life that you are connecting with people that you can trust, that are trustworthy, that have your back, that will be loyal to you. If a cycle that's coming to an end, if what it is that you're breaking free from is somebody who was not loyal, if they were deceptive, if they lied to you, if they just did not have your back, they didn't, you didn't have their support, then all the more reason to detach and let go. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some tarot to this for the rabbit and see what else needs to come in for you for 2021. What's some additional advice that we could find out? So I'll go ahead and pull some messages from my tarot teacher deck. This is the very first tarot deck I created, especially for beginners. It's available in the gold edging as well as without. And it's really easy to learn because as you can see, it's got upright and reversed meanings for each card. So there's no guessing what it means. It's right there, right in front of you. So it makes it really easy to learn. So if that's something you're interested in, my deck shop link is down below as well as all of the card decks that you see here today. So let's continue and see for the rabbits what else needs to come through here. What additional messages for 2021 for the rabbit. So you're breaking free from cycles that you know are no longer serving you. Okay, so you've got the three of wands here. Maybe some of you guys are a fire sign or you're focused on a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I love this because it's all about rapid growth. We did get this card of growth and expansion. And that's exactly what the three of wands is all about. Looking ahead, expansion, rapid growth. That's exactly what it's about. Forward planning and coming to a place in your life where you're actually happy with the decisions and choices that you have made. And then you've got the star right here, specifically Aquarius for some of you guys, okay? So there are definitely opportunities that are coming in for you, not just in regard to your love life, but in career as well. Okay, money matters, finances. I feel that's a part of it for some of you. This is also a card of taking care of yourself right now, focusing on you. But this is also a great card of hope, restoring your faith in a situation or in a person. This is illuminating a particular path that you are meant to travel, going in a new direction, as you can see. Okay, and a wish that can manifest. You've got dreams that you have to pursue this year. You've got abundance coming in as well. 
Look at how these cards are lining up. We've got the Eight of Cups and it's falling right below Break Free. This is a card of walking away and leaving something or someone behind. Getting yourself out of a situation that really, it's no longer meant to be a part of your life. Ten of Wands laid down the heavy burdens attached to this experience or person. You know who it is that you need to let go of. It's time, you know. So if that's stressing you out, if you're overloaded and overwhelmed by this person, then they're bringing you down. They're bringing your energies down, preventing you from making these dreams happen, whatever they might be. And maybe you've been carrying these burdens for a very long time, and it's time to lay it down and break free from that. For some of you, you've got this King of Cups coming in. Water energy, okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you. This King of Cups is here to offer that cup of love. You've already dealt with somebody who's toxic for you, I feel, and it's time to welcome in this individual who's actually very caring and loving. This is a good partner right here, very affectionate, emotionally balanced. Look at these cards, and now you've got the Lover's card, Gemini specifically, a deep love between two people. Your romantic life will definitely pick up this year for the rabbit if it hasn't already. Sexual attraction that you will have towards a particular person. Okay, so the lover's card is here reminding you that if things aren't working in your life, you have a decision, a choice that you need to make here. Because there's somebody that could really be a part of your life that could love you in the way that this person maybe could not love you or treat you. Look at that. You've got the sun. The most positive card in tarot. It's so beautiful. You are meant to find pure happiness this year for the rabbits. This is very positive energy right here for your relationships, your romantic partnerships. This can result in unions, reunions, or even marriages. It's the ultimate happiness that you could possibly ever experience in your love life, in your family life, with your friends, in your career, whatever path you're meant to travel in 2021, you're heading towards the energy of this sun, which is so awesome. It really is a wonderful card. But again, with the Five of Swords, you are being reminded to walk away, walk away from situations that is no longer serving you. If there were other people that are, that were a part of this equation, if there were third parties, if there were infidelities, if there was somebody that you were dealing with that was sneaky and underhanded, you know, it's time to break free from people like that. You need to walk away, okay? And by walking away and going in a new direction, look what's coming in for you. You've got this Two of Cups. Unity, love, partnership, an intense, wonderful connection, soulmate connection, two people who balance each other. This is another card tapped into a potential marriage for some of you. This mutual attraction that you have towards each other. I mean, it's a great card. And then we've got the nine of cups right here. Emotional stability, satisfaction, again, wish fulfillment. There's something about wishes that can manifest itself here along with these dreams that are coming in as well as this abundance that you're being blessed with. The Nine of Cups is all about realizing your dreams. And the thing is, you know, you don't have to be with anybody to be able to fulfill those dreams. You can do that all on your own. For those of you who are not attached to anybody, you're, you're not focused on a particular person, you just want to know what's coming up for you in the energy of the rabbit for 2021, you can make your own dreams and wishes happen. This is a life of contentment, of satisfaction. So that's great. Take whatever part of these messages resonate with you. You've got the energy of the star. Another card letting you know that whatever it is that you're wishing for can happen. It can come true. You've got the sun as well. All of these amazing cards to help you overcome the challenges and whatever burdens you have been holding on to. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some additional messages. I wanted to focus on those of you as well who are focused on a particular person. You're not together. You've lost this connection. You guys have lost touch, okay? This is a connection lost somewhere in time. Messages from my lost love. This is by Angelic Revelation 144. So let's take a look at that for whoever resonates with this. What is that person thinking when it comes to you? How is this lost connection affecting them? A lesson. Were you just a lesson? I know I needed to learn self-love and respect. I deserved more than you could give me. Wow, look at that. And maybe for some of you that are tuning in, my rabbits, this is something that you've learned as well. Wondering, you know, is this lost love? Were they just a lesson for you to learn? Were they just a stepping stone for, for you to be prepared for the right kind of love to come in? Maybe that's a part of the cycle for some of you guys. We do have soul connection. Although I may have lost you, you will forever have a special space within my damaged heart and soul. So even if you guys never come back together, you will always have a place in this person's heart. And I have a feeling if you feel the same way, you will have a special place in your heart too. We have beautiful chaos. You and I were a beautiful tragedy. I would still do it over again. But this time I would fight to the death for you. Maybe they didn't fight for the connection before. Maybe they've got regrets over that. We have I lost half of me. Living without you feels like half of me is missing. I can function, but it's like I'm just barely existing. So that's where they're at. You know, maybe you can relate to that for yourself. I feel so lost. I keep going through the maze of life, hoping that one day we will find our way back to each other again. And, you know, it's possible. You, you've got the lover's card here and we have the energy of the sun. We've got the two of cups, the nine of cups. You've got the star. So there's a way for you guys to find your way back to each other here. It's not impossible. Maybe this is the year for part of that dream to come true as well. And then we've got, I crave you. The fire you ignited in me still burns hot for you. So they still desire you. They still desire you. It doesn't matter how much time has passed. They still desire you. That's for sure. All right. So let's go ahead and add to this with some additional insight. From the Signs from Spirit Love Oracle. This is by Mystic Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for the rabbit. What else do we need to know? For the rabbit. Hat rolls. Okay. I always envision somebody who's super busy whenever this card comes through because you're wearing many hats. You've got lots of responsibilities. Okay. And going back to, if I can find it, where is that card? Sorry, let me find it. Here it is. So with the Ten of Wands, extra responsibilities, heavy burdens. Maybe some of you are just carrying way too much right now. And you're stressed out. You know, maybe you might also feel that the people that you're doing so much for, they just take you for granted. Okay, so again, break free from cycles like that because it's not going to help you. You need to be able to put yourself on your priority list this year. We've got wasp and jealousy, okay? So some of you guys might be dealing with people who are jealous of your success, jealous of what you have, your accomplishments, your dreams, if you are able to manifest them, the abundance that comes in for you. So just be mindful of that. We've got 777 coming through here. If some of you guys happen to be seeing this number, and it does say rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. And what I get from this is that you can't help but grow after having gone through something challenging in your life, which I feel 
has a lot to do with this card, growth and expansion. You grow from your experiences, especially the ones that are meant to teach you life-altering lessons. Let's grab another card. We've got Nail, Crucify. You see, there are certain situations here where it's done. You know, that final nail in the coffin. And some of you guys might even feel that a particular person was crucifying you somehow. Okay? So it's time to definitely walk away from situations like that. Let's grab one more card for the rabbit. And then we've got starfish, safe passage. And again, I keep feeling some of you might live by the ocean or a beach somewhere. Somebody might really love to be in the water and might even love starfish. And this is letting us know that through this new direction, you can move forward without any obstructions, obstacles, or major challenges that get in the way. Your angel guides, your spirit team, they're watching out for you so that you can make this journey, and as it says, safely. Okay, so if there are people out there that are jealous, that's coming through, or they're just not in a good place in their life and they don't want other people to be happy, they don't want you to be happy, you're guided and protected from people like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this up for the rabbit with some final guidance from your guardian angels. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the rabbit. Let's see. We have a prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me not to fear the transient nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God and all creation. You absolutely are guided by your spirit team, by the angels. Okay. And part of that eternal light could be from the sun leading you towards what will truly benefit you and bring you the happiness that you are looking for. Let's grab one more card to wrap things up for the rabbit. And then we have oneness. Someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, that even though there has been a physical parting, spiritually those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one. So I get a couple of messages here for the rabbit. One scenario is for those of you who have lost a loved one. Could be a family member. Of course, it could be a romantic partner or even a friend. They've passed on. They've moved on. Possibly in 2020. You know, we're still dealing with the pandemic. But this is for those of you who are missing someone that has passed on and their energies, their spirit, their love, it's still coming through here to let you know that they're okay, that they feel your love. And I'm also getting this for those of you who are focused on a lost love, lost in the sense as what the cards we just brought forward. You guys are in separation. This is a romantic connection that had to go your separate ways, okay? And maybe you're missing each other, but... Truly, you're still energetically picking up off of each other's energies and vibes. The love is still there. Okay, so hold on to that love because it can certainly follow you through on this new journey that you will embark on in 2021. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for you for the rabbit. I do hope whatever part of this reading resonated with you that it offered you help and guidance for the remainder of this year. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Take care.